Melinda. 221-143-567-213-332-476. Has anybody heard these numbers before when they went to the dentist and they have no idea what they're talking about? How much teeth? You've heard them in your mouth and they're yelling out numbers to the dental assistants. Oh, yes. you, do you know what they're doing? Yes. What are they doing? Are they measuring your uh, gums? Yes, that's what it is. They're doing a uh, periodontal probe. So today, I want to talk about periodontal disease. My name is Melinda Riley and I'm a dental assistant for Seymour Community Health Centers. So today I'm going to talk about what is periodontal disease, what causes periodontal disease, and how to prevent it. Before I talk about what periodontal disease is, I want everyone to know what healthy gums and teeth should look like. They should be pink and slightly stippled. It should have a firm texture and a smooth appearance around the teeth, around, along the teeth. They do not bleed when you brush or floss your teeth. If you don't have any gum pockets or your gum pockets measures in between one to three millimeters. Also, there's no signs of receding gums. As you hear, you cannot see any of the root surfaces. And you don't have any tooth pain or sensitivity. Sensitivity to like hot and cold or sweet foods. And you don't have any pain throughout the day like a toothache. So what is periodontal disease? Periodontal disease is a form of gum disease. Does everybody know what gingivitis is? Everyone's heard of gingivitis? What? Listerine, Listerine bites it. Yes. <laughs> Listerine's good. So gingivitis is an, um, will advance into periodontis if gingivitis is left untreated. Gingivitis is reversible, while periodontitis is irreversible. Periodontitis means inflammations around the teeth. If not treated, the bones and the gums and the connective tissues, tissues that support the teeth will be destroyed. Teeth may eventually become loose and may have to be removed. As you see here, this is gingivitis right here, and you can see the inflammations of the gums. It's very swollen around the teeth. And this is the healthy side of a tooth, and a tooth that has periodontal disease. As you can see, the bone levels are much higher. And also right here is the periodontal probe. And you can see it's measuring to about one to three millimeters. And anything above three millimeters is abnormal. And you see you have your plaque and your tartar. Here's the pocket. And your bone level has reduced. So some signs and symptoms of periodontal disease is bleeding from when you are brushing and flossing your teeth. Your gums tend to be swollen and tender to the touch. There can be visible pus, your teeth to your teeth will appear longer over time because your gums are receding. Also, your you might have an uneven gum line because of the receding may not be to all of the teeth because the pockets are going to be different for each tooth. Also, you're going to have the sensitive sensitivity to the hot and the cold. Your teeth may feel loose because your bone levels are dropping and the bone's not holding the teeth. You might feel a change into your bite. Also, your dentures may have a different feeling from the fit. You will have a bad taste or a bad breath. And you also may have some dry or burning sensation in your mouth. So what causes periodontal disease? When gingivitis is also left untreated, it will advance into periodontal disease. Our mouth is full of bacteria along with mucus and other particles that are not removed daily from brushing and flossing will turn into tartar and tartar cannot be removed by brushing and flossing alone. You must go see your dentist or your hygienist annually to get them removed professionally. Also, here are some increased risk factors is from smoking and chewing to tobacco, also diabetes, also certain medications that have side effects of dry mouth because saliva is very cleansing to the mouth, also birth control. When you are pregnant, you are also, you are also increased risk for periodontal disease. Also your genetics, 
if you have parents who have had bad teeth, it can also be passed down. Stress and poor nutrition. This right here is what your healthy teeth should look like. You see you have good bone levels and your gums aren't receding. This is mild period, no, this is gingivitis. You see your gums are starting to be inflamed and your bone levels and your gums are starting to recede. This is mild periodontitis. <coughs> As you see, your gums are getting to become very inflamed. Also, you're gonna have some bleeding. Your bone levels are dropping and severe periodontitis. Your bone levels have dropped a lot. Your root surfaces are showing. You're gonna have pus and bleeding. How to prevent? <clears throat> to prevent it if you don't already have periodontitis is to brush and floss daily. Brush at least twice a day for two minutes and floss after each brushing. But if you already have periodontitis, since it is irre irre irreversible, you can do some prevention so it doesn't get more severe. When you go to your dentist, you can get a scaling and root cleaning and what they are doing is removing all the tartar off of your teeth. As you can see here, this is the same mouth. And all of this right here is all of the tartar and it's being removed and you can see the root surfaces right here. So after it's all been removed, this is what it looks like afterwards. <coughs> and what they're doing is removing the tartar and the deposits off of your teeth. They're also cleaning underneath your gum lines because when you have periodontitis, you have larger pockets, so your food can get in between the gums and it's hard for you to clean. So most of the time, if you have severe periodontitis, they're gonna wanna numb you up. So you usually wanna go in for about two visits. They're gonna clean your right side, numb up your right side, do a full cleaning, clean underneath your gums, and then you wanna come in for a second visit to do your left side. Now, as I told everyone what periodontal disease is, what are the causes and the preventions, you can lower your risk of gum disease. 